Okay, um, I got some thoughts I want to share. This is something I think about, I've been thinking about with regards to music and language development and preference, uh, like why people enjoy music or what they prefer to listen to or naturally inclined to listen to. So I talked... Uh, I, I love music, and I like the lyrics at the very end. If I'm listening to a song and I listen to the song, let's say, 10 times, the lyrical content is digested by me towards the end of those 10 lessons. Like the first five, I'm listening to the music for the most part. Um, and then like the last five is when I start to actually want to digest the lyrics. But for um, other people, I've noticed it's different. Like, they they prefer to listen to the lyrics first. Like, that's what they pay attention to. And I think this boils down to when people acquire language in relation to when they've, start, they've been exposed to hearing a lot of diverse music. And I'm going to use myself as an example for this. Um, I can remember, I still have memories of when I was like two years old, so <laughs> I can kind of remember like, not in detail, but I can remember the time around when I was like from two to five, I was exposed to a lot of different kinds of music through video games um, from my older brothers, and and that was before I had acquired or during when I was acquiring language development. So I think because I was exposed to music either prior or during to the majority of my language development, um, then that could be why I prefer to digest the musical content of a song over the lyrical content. Um, and that, I mean, that just some, makes somewhat intuitive sense to me. Um, and I can see like if somebody didn't if somebody was going through school and they were developing their their language skills before they really started listening to much music on their own or like their parents exposing them to diverse music, then that wouldn't be something that would be incorporated into their schema uh, while they're developing. And I also say like diverse music like a diverse population of music because I think that plays a role in just brain development, like the um, developing different connections in the brain. Like if you hear the same kind of music, which again, that's very abstract, like saying kind of music, the same kind of music, that's kind of abstract. But um, if you hear that, that's all you hear. You're not really going to trigger a bunch of different neural connections in the brain. Um, so I think um, that's basically it. Like exposure to diverse music during language acquisition promotes uh, musical favoritism over lyrical favoritism. This is just a hypothesis. But yeah, that's the hypothesis. And people that are exposed to music later after they've developed their language skills are more lyrically uh, oriented or inclined. And to also put it this way, um, I think of music as a language in a sense. Like there's a, I can feel a connection between how we process words and how we process music and i mean languages in music lyrical music but um also break it down this way think about little kids or little babies while they're developing language skills if they're exposed to different languages they pick up on those things a lot quicker too like it's it's, it's incorporated into their schema right um so if a baby is exposed to multiple languages, they're a lot more inclined to be multilingual, right? And it's the exact same thing for music, um, making those connections to different styles of music 
is more likely if you're exposed to it while you're developing your language functions. So, yeah, that's also how I think about it, too. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this was interesting to whoever is listening to this, as always. And bye-bye.